Hello, this is Arlen Nagata with an informational podcast today. Today I just want to make a video for one of my friends. Um, She just got a Mac and she's starting to use Pages. So I wanted to take you through a couple of things. So this uh, video is dedicated to you, my friend. Um, First of all, when you start Pages, you get this template chooser. And this is kind of nice. You get all kinds of templates. If you don't want to start from a blank page, you can use one of these templates and get started very quickly. Um, have a lot of pretty neat designs and things you can use. Uh, but uh, basically, this is broken up into a couple of sections. Word processing. You know, if you're used to using Microsoft Word, you'll feel pretty comfortable using pages although there are some differences which we'll talk about as we go then there's a section called page layout which is more for flyers and newsletters and that kind of thing if you're using uh, Microsoft publisher this will be quite familiar to you okay or uh, even if you're using InDesign Adobe InDesign uh, don't tell anyone but I've been using pages a lot more than InDesign because I find it simpler and I can uh, create my files a lot faster but don't tell anyone that okay I I bought some extra templates and they show up down here I'm not going to show you those and then I have my own templates that I've made and uh, I'll cover that at another time well today my friend uh, needs to make a basic layout for a project that she's doing Um, these are actually for the church bulletin and so the layout is the same every week she just needs a couple of text boxes to type into now some have suggested that maybe she could do that in in word but word is just really flowing with text and a page layout program is better for where you want to put things in exactly the right place so I'm going to choose page layout here and I'm going to start with a blank canvas so I'll just double click on that okay. pages opens up this nice blank canvas and you can see it's a page layout it's not a word processing document and what page layout means is if I want to put anything on the page I'm going to have to first put something down like if I want to put text I'm going to have to click here and put a text box in there okay or I can put any one of these other items down there okay let me drag the window over oops drag it over just so I have some room on this side because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the fonts panel I'm going to slide that over and then I'm going to open up my inspector move this down here okay I'll move the fonts over just a, just a little bit okay and I like this look when I'm when I'm uh, doing a lot of page layout I like this look here where um, I can see all the fonts up here and then I can see the inspector if you're used to publisher or Microsoft Word a lot of the options that were in this that that would be here in this bar are going to be found in the inspector on the Mac and when you open the inspector you get this box here and you can see there's all these little icons each icon holds a bunch of options Okay, so basically anything that you want to work on, you're going to find here. The text inspector is used a lot for aligning things, spacing, that kind of thing. We'll go through a little bit of that today. Okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this metrics box a lot today. 
because um, <clears throat> I've pre-measured uh, some of these things that my friend needs so I know exactly where things are going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first save this project and I'll call this the Unified Bulletin Template. It's not really a template, but I'm just calling it that. Okay, and I'm going to drag out some guides. So the way I do that is I'll click on the ruler bar and drag this down. I need this to be at 2.125. 2.12. That's good right there. And... I'm going to click on this ruler guide and drag this out to 0.25. Okay. Now, if you don't see these ruler bars, you just come up here to view. This would say show rulers. Okay. So if, the, if this is what you're seeing, you go to view, show rulers, and then that'll come up. Okay, I'm going to drag this other guide to 2.25. Okay, drag the next guide to 2.5. One more guide out here, 8.25. I'm going to scroll down a bit. Uh, 7.125 is my next one that I want. Get that close there. Uh, 7.75 is the next one. And my last one is going to be this 0.5 from the bottom, which is 10.5. Okay, great. Now the reason I needed to drag out all these guides is so I know exactly where to put the boxes. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting a text box. Let's click text box there and then I get this text box that goes into the middle of the page. I'm going to do something that doesn't quite make sense, but I'm going to click outside of the text box, then I'm going to click back on the text box. Now I have my um, handles on here, or I can click on the text and drag the box around, and that's what I want to do. Okay, so I want to put the box there, and the great thing about this metrics toolbar here is you can set things precisely okay so I'm going to use this to set a precise width of 2 and a precise height of 5 okay now I pre-measured my project so I know that yes that fits right in between my guides so I know that that one is perfect okay I'm just click outside so that was my first text box I need one more here click outside of there click on the text box so I can see my handles. Now I can move that. Now if I didn't want to move that there, I could have typed in those coordinates in the position and get the exact thing that I, I want. Okay, So I want a box that's 5.75 by 5. There we go. Again, I pre-measured, so this is perfect, exactly where I want it. I just need one more text box, and this text box is going to come down here. And instead of doing the coordinates, I'll just drag it out. And when I hit guides and things, it'll just snap into place. Okay, that's it for this first part. I've got my layout, my text boxes laid out, and I'm ready to begin working further on this. So, have a great day, and I'll see you again in part two.